What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and spring has finally come. The weather is clearing up and I've gone ahead and I've dragged my Yukon to a new location where I can work on it a little bit more safely because we need to get that transmission fixed. Ski resorts are closed. Everything's good to go, which is exactly what I would have said. If the weather didn't change its mind. Yes indeed, I went ahead and I moved my Yukon as I had originally said at the beginning of the video because well, I was ready to go get work done on it. There was no more snow, as a matter of fact yesterday when I was going about my day, all of the snow in my neighborhood had melted for the most part last night. Don't know how well you can see that, but it looks like we've gotten just about eight and a half inches of snow. Yes indeed, I am not kidding you guys. Yesterday all of the snow was gone and I was walking around in a t-shirt and then we had a snowstorm last night and we're eight and a half inches of snow so far. Still snowing. It's a good way to start April. So because of that beautiful April, mid-April snow that we're getting, um, today's gonna be a relatively short video because well, kinda needed to be able to get outside. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a few small things to the car, but we're gonna go ahead and start by talking about the few things that I did wanna talk about coming back from the race. Uh, and just address real quick, one off. We all know what happened. If you watched the last video, what happened to my front over there, um, I had a bolt absolutely sheer off of the car. Uh, we did replace that with another E46 bolt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace all the bolts there because if one's gonna shear, I don't know if any others are weak enough. i replace them all with brand new ones and then I'm gonna have even more spare ones with me every time I go down to the track, just like how I carry spare brake rotors after the one that cracked on me. I did wanna mention how this is actually done relatively well out there, so with the quick release and everything, so it's kinda of handy and convenient. I am loving this fire extinguisher solution here, and my concern, as you can see, a little bit of a wobble here. I was concerned that under force, this might just pull back and bend this, kind of twist it. Um, but no, this, uh, while I was out there on track, there was no forces. So, super happy with the solution I had there. The two things that we're gonna go ahead and get taken care of in this video, and this is kind of why it's gonna be a relatively short video, is one, something I wanted to actually get done before the first race. We're gonna be taking out this third brake light right here, because we do not need a third brake light in the car anymore. Uh, and then the other thing that we don't need in this car anymore is this whole setup here with the mirror. Now, the mirror needs to stay because I don't have another mirror, but I do wanna get rid of the plastic trim on it. Also, unplug all the electronics and take this cable it's the only cable running to the roof in the front. It's also kind of in my line of sight. Take the whole cable down and tuck it under the dash. I guess I also kind of need to retighten that bolt like right there on the seat because uh, currently, uh, yeah, shouldn't be doing that. Let's just, uh, just, you know. That was easy. Already a third of the way done with the work today. So hopefully you guys can see what I see here, but to start off with, looks like this should be relatively simple. There's like the seam right here in the middle. So it comes off in two parts. And then up here where the wire goes in, there's kind of like an indent here uh, where once again it comes in. So what I think I need to do is just kind of pull the two parts apart from each other. I do believe that this is the overlapping part, so it has to come off first. Might be wrong, we'll see. Well, that popped it off. Don't worry, I didn't break it. It just came off with force. But with that out of the way, we obviously have the sensor here. I don't know if I'm gonna remove the sensor right now. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it's secured. I think it's double-sided tape, but we'll see. First off though, I'm gonna get these plugs out. So this one's just plugged into there, just like that. Then this guy, just a double pressure clip, pulls out of there. So that's your mirror plug. Uh, and like I said, I still need the mirror in the car, so the mirror's staying in the car. But these wires, I mean, they're staying in the car too, but they're not staying up here. So this does feel like it's uh, secured on here with some kind of tape of some sort. I don't want to crack the windshield. So we're going to be cautious here, but I think it might be able to be pried off. Thank you. 
Wasn't originally going to plan on taking this guy out unless it was super easy. Um, it was not super easy. That adhesive is no joke. Um, so it broke coming out, uh, but these I'm sure are relatively inexpensive, so if I wanted to replace it, I could. Oh, hey guys, uh, quickly, this is editing me. Like I've said before, uh, past me is stupid. It doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, did some research. That's a $250 part right there, not a cheap one to replace. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take off the part that fell off for me, and then you can use some fishing line to get rid of the purple plastic part, which was the part that broke for me. Uh, you just want to get that adhesive off. I think I can replace the purple plastic part uh, relatively inexpensively. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that respect, but yeah, be careful if you're removing this because uh, I just broke a very expensive part that I thought would maybe be $20. Figured if I was taking out the panel that covered this, uh, might as well take it out too. So as you can see now though, with that out of the way, I have run the cable all the way down and I have tucked it behind the dash there, right there. And now it's currently just falling into the floor here, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie it up under the dash there. I'm not gonna run it behind the bar and the dash like I did with the other ones, but next time I do take out the dash and the bar, I'll go ahead and tuck it up behind those like I did with the ones over there as well. So this I believe is pretty simple here. Start by unplugging it. So I believe it's, there's some clips on there. I don't know where, they're kind of riding on these rails. There we go. There we go. So yeah, these little guys right here, they slide on these rails and then they just slide into these grooves right here. Just on like that, so you kind of like thread it on and then slide that on to cover it. Third brake light out. Now I was thinking about pulling this cable down and rooting it and just kind of putting it over there, but I've actually decided if I ever need to put the third brake light in for any reason, such as maybe taking this out on the road to get it somewhere, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back here where it belongs. So we're just gonna leave this one little wire right here, but no more third brake light unnecessarily in the car. And there we have it, quick and to the point. I know this video was a lot shorter than typical guys, but uh, you know, with the snowstorm and everything outside, there's only so much that I can get done in a day. There was some things I was considering. I do need to get the brakes done because they're completely shot from the last race, but I'm still waiting on the brake fluid to arrive, so Kind of have my hands tied behind my back on that one as well. But those were some things that did need to get done to the car. And the snow should be gone here in the next day or two because we're looking at a warm week ahead. I also need to get some work done on the Yukon. So we look forward to Yukon videos. Uh, I've got to pull the transmission and rebuild that. Or alternatively pull a junkyard one and get that in there because I can't be borrowing a vehicle all year. I need to have my own vehicle going. And it would also be nice to have another vehicle driving right now. Because right now, past the BMW, my Land Rover is my only driving vehicle. Anyway guys, if you like the content, consider liking down below. If you want to see more of it, consider subscribing. I promise you we do a lot more than stick rulers in the snow. Uh, we got a lot more content on the BMW here, as well as just in general race stuff. As always guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.